<sighs> going to war with the mouse. All right, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a trap with this bucket PVC pipe and this threaded rod. I've got at least one varmint, maybe more. And, uh, yeah, we're going to build something out of this. I may expand on this thing later on, depending on the results. The, the mouse I saw earlier was really big, so he might be able to jump out. So that might require something a little bit more elaborate, like a, a lid type situation on this. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm running the threaded rod through. This will be on it and it'll spin freely. I'll put some peanut butter on the middle and if they step on it to get out there, it'll turn on them and dump them in the bucket. Here it is. Uh, this is version one. I might elaborate, like I mentioned earlier, uh, make it a little bit more difficult to get out of once they get in, but I got a ramp. Climb up here. I added some tape so they could dig their claws into it a little bit easier because this is a pretty hard wood. It's not like pine. I think it's sort of like, I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's not as soft as some of the other woods, but um, add a couple hooks so it doesn't come off it's real easy threaded rod through, a couple nuts, and that spins. So I'm going to put some peanut butter on here, and when they try to climb out here, they got to balance, and they'll slip and fall in the bucket. Hopefully they're not good enough jumpers to get out. Um, if that seems to be the case, I will uh, put a, a, a flat layer on the top here, and put the peanut butter a little offside, that way it, they walk over and it it's gonna dump them that way and they can't hop out. So at least that's my idea for a second um, thing. I think I have to weight the bottom though, because I think, don't think it'll return where it's supposed to be. Anyway, um, that's, the, that's the idea. All right, the, the trap has been baited and uh, now we just gotta wait. I will uh, give you an update if I find something. And uh, hopefully, now I can just get back to work and I guess clean up the mess that they chewed up here. And the other thing I didn't tell you guys is like my workbench is covered in like, uh, like cement crud. I've been walking along this edge, knocking stuff off and it's falling all over my workbench and I'm just constantly finding this crap all over this is this is nothing compared to what it was I've already cleaned it up a couple times but they, every day all right guys I just woke up came down here to check the trap it's been a few days I've moved it around a few places I haven't gotten any action um, still don't have any mice trapped but I can tell they've been in it so I think that they have hopped out because the the, the pole has been rotated around, which means they've climbed out there, got you know dunked in the 
in the bucket and then jumped out. Um, I did see a mouse run across the top of the foundation right in front of my face. Like if the if something wasn't in my way, I could have grabbed him. Like that's how close. Like these guys are bold. So I had all this wood, and I was trying to I was trying to pick out some wood over here because um, I was working on a project, um, and I was like just standing like right over there next to the wood and. A mouse ran across the top here, and I don't know where he went exactly, but there must be a hole, like, right back in there, because I never saw him come back any other way. And I was pretty close to him, so, like, that was a close encounter with one. So here's the bucket. You can see the peanut butter's on the bottom, and this thing doesn't rotate super easy, so... He must have been out here trying. Well, looky what we got here. He didn't like the peanut butter, so I added some peas. Now that was his jam. There were some peas in the bottom. So I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna be just driving him out to the woods and far enough away he's not gonna come bother me again. But this is not the guy I thought he was. I've seen a bigger one run around here and I've gotta catch him too. All right, so the mouse trap does work, um, at least for the little guys. The, the big mouse, I'm sure he's been in there. I'm sure he's jumped out. I've moved it around the basement a few different places. I've found that, that tube, that PVC pipe with the peanut butter in, on it. It's been spun around a couple times. Um, and it doesn't just spin freely, you know, like it's got to have something to push it. So um, I am going to modify this bucket. And I think we're going to put like a, a lid type thing on it that will they crawl out on it, it'll dump them, and then if they're trying to jump out, they hit the wall, they hit the lid. You'll see. Um, anyways, I gotta go let, get rid of this mouse and uh, think of, uh, figure out what I'm gonna make this lid thing out of.